So what is REM sleep behavior disorder? I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health, and today's topic is REM sleep behavior disorder. REM sleep behavior disorder is one of the more common parasomnias. A parasomnia is a type of behavior that occurs while one is sleeping. Now, many of you are familiar with non-REM and REM sleep. REM stands for rapid eye movement sleep because that's the stage of sleep we have a lot of our dreams in and most of the body is paralyzed but the eyes are moving rapidly. Now typically in rapid eye movement sleep which occurs more toward the end of the night so the early morning hours individuals are dreaming and there's a mechanism in the brain to kind of essentially paralyze the muscles to keep them from moving so one does not act out their dreams. And in REM sleep behavior disorder, that switch is faulty. So people essentially become unparalyzed and begin to act out their dreams. So this can involve a lot of different things like carrying out clear conversations or purposeful movements, uh, even things like fighting people or some people riding a bike so their legs will be cycling in, in, in position while in bed. It can even be quite dangerous because a spouse or bed partner could get punched or hit by the individual. And frequently, people with REM sleep behavior disorder can fall out of bed because really the movement is occurring while they're completely asleep. So they have no control over what's being said or the movements that are occurring. Now, the diagnosis of REM sleep behavior disorder is based on a, an evaluation that's suggestive of this condition and also an overnight sleep study or polysomnogram. If the event itself or the behavior itself is not captured on a sleep study, what can uh, be seen is that the muscles that should be pretty much flat and not moving at all, essentially paralyzed during rapid eye movement sleep, can actually start to move. So the sensors on the legs or the chin in an overnight sleep study will show muscle activity when there really shouldn't be. And the combination of these things is suggestive of the diagnosis of REM sleep behavior disorder. Other conditions may be similar to it and need to be distinguished. The most common are what we call confusional arousals where someone's actually partially waking up from sleep and they start moving around or saying something. And it's really a, a transition from being asleep to being awake, kind of caught in the middle there. Nightmares can also be confused with REM sleep behavior disorder as people can wake up from a nightmare and that seems like it, it is like REM sleep behavior disorder, but the, the nightmares that occur during REM sleep behavior disorder are the acting out of the bad dream or the nightmare, but the person is completely asleep, so they'll typically not remember what's going on unless they're woken up from it. So unfortunately, this condition is often associated with conditions like Parkinson's disease, different types of neurodegenerative conditions, and they might even come many years before someone were to go on to develop Parkinson's disease or a Parkinsonian-like uh, condition. But a lot of times it just happens out of the blue. Often it happens in middle age or later, but it can happen even in young individuals. One of the links is rarely a side effect of medications, including SSRIs or antidepressant medications. Again, this is extremely rare, but that could be a potential trigger of REM sleep behavior disorder. And then it's also seen in rare conditions like narcolepsy type one or narcolepsy with cataplexy, where the, the sleep architecture of the brain is disrupted by the underlying neurologic condition. Now, treatment of REM sleep behavior disorder is a little bit challenging. The number one thing is safety precautions in the bedroom. So being safe in case the spouse gets injured, being safe in case the individual uh, who's moving around with REM sleep behavior disorder to prevent injury. So moving the bed away from a window or lowering the bed or padding the ground next to the bed. These are different types of safety precautions because if someone were to fall out of bed, they could injure themselves with a head injury, break a bone uh, or worse. When it comes to treatments and medications, high doses of melatonin sometimes are effective at suppressing the dream enactment, and then stronger prescription medications like clonazepam or other, other sedative drugs uh, can also be used. 
Uh, the prognosis for REM sleep behavior disorder sometimes is not good, particularly if it's associated with a condition like Parkinson's disease. But sometimes the condition may get worse, sometimes it could get better over time and, and potentially resolve. So it's very hard to say what will happen when one develops REM sleep behavior disorder, but if it's definitely triggered by something like a medication, it can resolve pretty quickly. As always, these videos are for general medical information only. It does not constitute the practice of medicine. All medical decisions should be made under a licensed medical professional, including the diagnosis and treatment of conditions like REM sleep behavior disorder. As I always like to say, one of the keys to sleeping well is to relax.